So, do you train for your job? Often the answer is no, not unless you're working in the military, you're a pre professional footballer or a professional athlete, um, or you work in the police or the fire. All these areas it's quite normal to be training for your job the reasons are performance of the job making the job easier so you don't get injured but you can do the job correctly so that point about injury is something which is important because if we look at the health and safety kind of stuff it says that you know there's a responsibility on both sides so your employer and the employee so yourself is responsible for your health and safety now we know that being um, uh, condition for your job so having the appropriate abilities to do your job whether it be strength range of motion endurance whatever it takes to be capable of your job is going to lessen the chance of that job becoming a problem for you um, and therefore if you aren't trained for your job and you aren't conditioned to the requirements of your job then you're increasing your risk of, of, of a problem and therefore that means you're not fulfilling your responsibility as an employee for your employer so you can only go so far there's certain jobs which involve certain things like a builder has got to lift heavy things up and move heavy things around so you'd say to them well what do you do to train for your job and their answer would be my job is physical that that's enough i'm like well okay premier league footballers don't need to train military don't need to train because the job does it doesn't work that way does it they need to train so they can minimize their risk in their daily life you need to be above your capacity in terms of your training so that when you're doing your stuff which is within your capacity you can do that all day every day if you do something that's at your absolute maximum capacity all through the day you're going to get overloaded you're going to be become problematic and get injured or something else if you're working well within yourself because you've catered to your uh, training has been above your need for your uh, job then you will cope better I've seen people where they work in the supermarkets and they're pushing the trolleys the big cages to stack the shelves and the dairy aisle is the one where I see most people from and this is because the cages are all the same size but the stuff in there is heavier so more dense so cheese milk butter all that in there basically takes up the same space but is heavier for amount so if you're not strong enough to move that cage around you can't control the cage you know um, you can't keep endurance up throughout the day then you're more likely to, for that cage to move you more than you're controlling the cage and could cause a back problem a shoulder problem a knee problem and you or you could just get crushed by the cage or whatever so you know it makes sense to train for that issue and if a problem ever occurred they do a a risk assessment and in that there would be a box which says what um, you know what can I do next time to minimize the risk no one ever writes I should train for my job but that's actually what you should do you would make a huge difference if you were making your body more capable to do your job you'll be less likely to get injured from your job and that means you can stay fit healthy and do your job and that often another problem with this is someone would say but but they don't allow us time to train for their job well, as a physio, I have certain things that put stress on my body, you know, my elbows and my wrists and, and stuff and, and things like that. So what do I do? I train them parts of my body so that I don't get overloaded from my job. It's my responsibility. It's my body. I could go, well, I mean, it's different for me. I'm self-employed. But if I was employed, I would still do the same because, and I did. Um, it can't all be about what can you do for me. It's also what can you do for yourself. And I think if more people took this approach in life, there would be a lot better scenarios in workforces and workplaces. People would be less uh, injured and off work. People would be more capable of the job, so the job would be easier on them. Uh, there'd be less, um, you know, litigation and things like that, which you know is never good. Um, and I think this is something to which people should really think, like an athlete would think, is that I need to perform my job to the best of my ability, which for a footballer is football, so they train to not get injured and perform their job better. So therefore, that should be applied to a builder, a physio, a whatever, someone stacking the shelves, you name it, a warehouse operative. All these things mean that if you train for your job and thought of it that way, you'll do better. So I would say, think differently. Don't think, well, 
I should just lift lighter. You know, I should change my job. You can make your body adapt and uh, make your job easier on yourself. And that can only be a good thing. So anyway, interesting way of looking at this, something to which I see a lot of this issue around things. So I thought it'd be an interesting kind of video to just talk about this way of thinking and therefore acting around people's jobs. So anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.